I have the pleasure of introducing Dr. Jeffrey Pharma. Dr. Pharma is the co-director of the Melanoma and Skin Cancer Program at the Fox Chase Cancer Center, the chief of the Division of General Surgery, and the program director of Oncological Surgery Fellowship. Dr. Pharma is extremely accomplished, a wonderful human being, a great fundraiser as well. I know he's sad he's not at the zoo right now, um, but it's a great pleasure to introduce Dr. Jeffrey Pharma. Kylie, thank you so much. Um, I, I, it's really absolutely our pleasure to work with your organization. And I, I'm very sad not to be at the zoo today, as you mentioned. It's one of my favorite events throughout the year. I think as a, as a doctor, you know, you're in the silo of seeing patients in their clinic and in the operating room in the hospital. And there's nothing more rewarding to me and my staff to get to meet their families in a, in a venue at the zoo that's exciting and a whole different atmosphere and everything that the Melanoma Research Foundation does for patients all around the world, really, with melanoma and kind of moving the targets and changing how we look and think about this disease. So it's thank you all for everything you're doing. I know this has been a difficult year for everyone. And um, everything you do to plan this and put this together is, you know, I know it's difficult, but I'm sure it's going to be a great event. And I, I really welcome everyone to give and move and, um, and just really support melanoma. The, um, I just want to say a couple of staggering kind of figures. So 100,000 people are diagnosed with melanoma a year. That is a large number of patients. Um, it has affected all of us. Um, in multiple different ways. And unfortunately, almost 7,000 people die each year from melanoma. And that's why it's so important for events like this and organization so we can increase surveillance, increase prevention, increase early detection, because with all those things, patients live. And we don't have to deal with immunotherapy or targeted therapy or all these things that have we've made great strides for, but the whole key is diagnosis early and surveillance and really prevention. At Fox Chase, I just want to thank my team, Drs. Greco, Reddy, Porpilia, Oshansky, Hongwu, uh, our dermatologist, Dr. Afali and Dr. Santoro, Hylan Liu, my PA who I can't live with. I mean, our whole team together really um, functions so cohesively to provide the, the highest level of care to melanoma patients in the region. Um, and that's what we do every single day. We're so conscious of, of the experience that patients have when they come in to see us, the anxiety they're dealing with. And it doesn't matter if it's the earliest precancerous melanoma or a more advanced melanoma. So, you know, it's so important and we want to improve screening awareness. We want to, and this is through advocacy, education, research, and funding. And that's the only way that we can do this. Um, the things that we do at Fox Chase, which I think are amazing and why so many patients just adore coming to see us and other institutions, it's not just us, but we're training, as you said, I oversee the fellowship and we train the next generation of oncologists to be aware of how to treat melanoma throughout the world um, appropriately and safely and based on guidelines. We sit on NCCN panels and we create guidelines for the rest of the country that may not be as familiar with melanoma as we are so that patients, if they don't have access to a a cancer center can still be treated as high quality as they can. We want to improve quality of life. So in advanced melanoma, we want to improve quality of life and we want to find the cure. So we never thought we would use the cu word cure for melanoma. When I first started, that wasn't really a thing. Um, if you had advanced or, or metastatic melanoma, cure was not in our, our armamentarium. Now, amazingly, it is. We have patients who present with advanced disease that have responses to immunotherapy or targeted therapy where the melanoma is going away. And we're actually, we, we, we like laugh. We're like, how do we, you know, you're five years out, you had metastatic melanoma. How do we even follow you now? We don't even know because we haven't encountered that. And that is a great problem. Um, and so we're so excited of all the strides we've made, but there's still so far to go. There's patients that don't respond to these therapies or progress. And we have more clinical trials now at Fox Chase than we ever had. 20 clinical trials right now, um, probably the, you know, uh, as many as any other single institution has. And so we have injectable therapies, combination therapies, looking at ways that we can improve on immunotherapy, which has been amazing, or looking at ways that we can improve on targeted therapy. So collaboration with MRF has been amazing for us and allowed us to do all of these types of things, research, clinical trial, advocacy, surveillance, all of the education. And so it is, it, it is important for all of us to have your friends and family go to dermatologists for screening, that if they have a mole, have it checked out by someone. 
wear sunscreen, advocacy and legislation to prevent tanning salons. This is one of the number one causes of skin cancer. And there, it's a billion dollar industry that we have to have legislation on so that our young, you know, teenagers are not going without any, you know, signing up for anything to go and get to go to tanning salons where we know that there's an increased risk of skin cancer. So all these things, the Melanoma Research Foundation and us are involved in. So we have, you know, we've made great strides. We have ways to go and please donate and give money so that we can find the next cure and find the next answers and improve the quality of life so we can continue to talk about cures for melanoma. So thank you for getting me involved with it. I wanna thank my daughter, Olivia, for being here. She comes to the race every year. We look forward for everyone being involved and seeing us um, face to face next year with huge teams and a huge you know, event at the zoo. And, and we look forward to our continued collaboration with you. And I just wanna thank you, so thanks. Thank you so much, Dr. Pharma. Thank you, Fox Chase Cancer Center. And thank you so much for all you do for patients. I know that so many people who come to Fox Chase Cancer Center find such comfort seeing you and your team and just the hope that you provide them and the amazing access to cutting edge treatments. And it is truly amazing that we're talking about cure with melanoma. And that has been groundwork that has been laid by researchers and clinicians like you all over the country who've worked tireless, tirelessly on behalf of patients. So we thank you. We thank you for your support. And again, just really appreciate all that you do for patients.